My name is Spencer, I'm co-founder of Live Bearded, and today I'm gonna show you how to shape a beard. All right, so before any beard trimming starts, it's important to note that you wanna style your beard with whatever beard products you use before any trimming takes place. So here with Justin here, he's let his beard grow out. He hasn't trimmed in any lines yet. We're gonna, we're gonna line those up here, uh, but it's important to note that he's already applied his oils, already applied his butter, and we're just gonna comb his beard. We do this so that your beard is gonna lay the way that it will on any given day. That way you know exactly what you're taking off and what it's gonna look like uh, on a daily basis. All right, so the first line we're gonna take in here to shape this beard is gonna be your top line. Now your top line is essentially the line that connects from your sideburn to your mustache. And what we're really looking to do here is just trim the kind of rogue hairs above the bulk of where the beard grows in. So most of us are gonna have beard hairs on the cheek here, and they're gonna obviously grow down into the neck. So all we're really looking to do for this line is take everything above kind of where the bulk of the beard grows in. So grab your clippers here, pretty straightforward. You really just wanna go again from the sideburn over to the mustache. And this is just gonna give that a little more definition. All right, so you really wanna keep this line as high as naturally possible. So again, we're just trimming these kind of rogue hairs here and, and trim it down only to where the bulk of the beard is. Uh, if you trim it too low, it's gonna pinch your beard. By the time you trim this up, it's gonna really pinch and shrink your beard. So again, keep this line as high as possible. Going over to the left side here, same thing, obviously. You wanna match these up. Don't be too critical on getting them exactly, but essentially taking the same line across these few kind of rogue hairs. All right, next up is gonna be your back line. And the back line is, is really just a line coming off the back of the sideburn. And the idea here is to really run this line straight down. So what we're gonna do is really just clean up the hairs that are on the back side of kind of where the sideburn line comes down. So again, what this is gonna do is just really uniform, bring in better, tighter shape to your beard, better define it, and kind of clean it up here. So I just, again, take the clippers, get some of these rogue hairs off the back of the sideburn. Make sure you comb it again. You can already see how much kind of cleaner and more defined that is. And it's important to, to note that I always start small because you can always take more off. So I would say the first pass, don't take it all the way in where you might want it. Slowly kind of creep it in here, step back, take a look at it, look up for me. Boom, take a look at it, see how straight it is because you can always go back in and take a little more off. It's the same thing on the other side. Again, just kind of back of the Now you notice this side wasn't nearly as wild. It wasn't growing quite as far back. Your beard hairs are gonna grow in different lengths, different directions from side to side. So you don't necessarily need to treat each side the same in terms of how much you're gonna take off. Just draw this line straight off the back of the sideburn, straight down. All right, so the third and final line that we need to go ahead and, and uh, trim in here is the neckline. Now, one of the biggest mistakes we see is guys trimming their neckline in on their jawline. Well, his jawline's right here. You can see if you trim this in, it's gonna really be much too thin. You wanna trim this line where the head connects to your neck. So really, that's gonna be down in. It's typically about a finger above the Adam's apple. What that's gonna do is as your beard grows in length, these neck hairs really gonna grow, grow out and give you that fullness as it grows so that your beard is nice and thick, nice and full. So you want to, again, take this line in across, typically one finger above the Adam's apple or right at the Adam's apple, and you're gonna be a straight line across here. When it comes to these corners here, you can either square them off where you're running this line straight off the back of the sideburn, 
and it meets at kind of a 90 degree angle, that's gonna give you more, that's gonna give you more boxed look. So again, you're coming down here and you're gonna hit it with a 90 degree angle. If you want this to be more of a box square beard as it grows out, you can do a hard line square here. Otherwise, if you want a little more of a natural look, you can kind of round this and that's gonna give you a little bit more rounded corner, a little softer. And again, I would always advise to start this and take little bits off at a time as you can always take it tighter, but you can't put it back on. All right, so really we just wanna keep working to this left side here, same, same, same idea, obviously just running this line kind of horizontally across his neck right at the Adam's apple just above. You really want to kind of get the, the under part of the beard and really just get any of these loose hairs so they're all kind of growing to the same length. You may sacrifice a couple hairs, but the, the bulk of the beard is going to be more uniform and that's going to actually give your beard a much fuller appearance because the hairs are all going to be together. All right, so when it comes to the under part here, now Justin is growing his beard out, so we're definitely not looking to take too much length off. However, he grows a little faster right underneath on his neckline as opposed to his chin. So that's why you get a little bit of the weight here. So all you're really looking to do is again, take some of this weight out so it grows a little more evenly and allows the chin hairs here to kind of catch up. So I'm gonna take off as little as possible. So it's really as simple as that. When you're looking to shape your beard, um, just again, focus top line, back line, neckline. Um, Justin here is growing his beard out. So again, we didn't really take much length off, but just gave a definition. And by bringing this line in, defining this back line, bringing the neckline in, not only is your beard more uniform, but it, it looks so much better. It looks fuller, it looks healthier. Also, we didn't touch on the mustache in this video. We have a different video on mustache trimming, so make sure to check that out. Uh, we're gonna let his grow out because he's gonna get a sick stash coming. Uh, but if you have any questions on trimming, if you have any questions about what you saw here or anything else, feel free to reach out anytime to support at livebearded.com. So keep it growing, and as always, live bearded, brother.